Can I follow up and ask you about something we've asked a lot of our speakers here? It's been kind of emerged as, as a big theme of the conference because it's emerging as a big theme in, in the tech world, and that's artificial intelligence. Um, uh, I know you just wrote something on it. You think about it. Talk to me about where you think that is, where it's going, and particularly how it applies to eBay and maybe generally to commerce. It's, it's really important to me, and I think it's important to our company. Um, predictive modeling is not new for e-commerce. For 10 years, we and all of our competitors have been trying to say, hey, people that bought this also bought this. But it was pretty crude, and it was based around inventory clustering. You know, we'd look at people that bought this, then other people look-alike models of what people right. bought. <clears throat> Something changed in the last year, and I think it's a combination of uh, computing power, GPUs being brought online to uh, model big data sets, and the sophistication of algorithms, which now um, inventory clustering is only one factor. We're now looking at demographics and other data, and we're layering all of that on top of each other in very sophisticated predictive models. For a company like ours, what, what is the customer? What's the result to the customer of relevance, some of that work? Re relevance. It's all about consumer relevance. I'm go on eBay. I want eBay to feel like it's mine. I want it to feel like it's my eBay. I don't want it to feel like it's your eBay. I want it to feel like you know me. You know whether I want a $7 scarf or a $70 scarf. You know whether I like blue or red. You know that um, you, you, you already know the car, so you know the bumper. It's very personal and not intrusive personal, seamless personal. And I, I actually think we are getting really close to that. And f for us, we started working on this in a lightweight uh, 10 years ago. But in the last year, we've gotten really serious. And we're going to start deploying some things even later this year where um, you'll start to, it'll start to feel different. We can really, for us, I'd argue it's even more important than our competitors because of the breadth of our inventory. A billion items is an amazing advantage, and it can be a disadvantage because it can be overwhelming. It's been a, cha it's been a challenge desktop. It's been a challenge on mobile. You've done some things, try to fix that with discovery. Some has worked, some not so much. It's, it's you know, and, and as you know, that's why we're marching down building the world's biggest catalog because we need to have visibility of that inventory. Because, AI because helps it tends that. to fall down to the bottom of a silo, right? I mean, or things just don't get seen. That's they it. They just don't get sur surfaced. That's it, and search is, search is a tool that has um, marginal diminishing returns when you've got that large a commerce right. inventory. I think AI gives us another tool in the toolbox. So